Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today in this video I'm featuring the Lemon Lime Twist cardstock, um, which is the one of the uh, in colors for from Stamping Up. Um, so it's really cute. And the stamp set that I'm using is a retired stamp set that I have in my stash. It's unforgettable. Um, it's pretty old. Over 10 years old. I'm not really sure. Um, but here they are. There's a bunch of them in here. and It's really cute and has all kinds of um, sentiments with this one. And I wanted to show you how um, how I actually colored these images. Um, I think it might be useful for you because I used what I had um, in my stash and I don't have paint brushes yet. Maybe I can get me some this week. So I actually used the makeup brush to color these in. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of money on the Copic markers right now so I was thinking that there is, surely there is a way that um, I can color these images and still get that shading effect and so that's what I'm going to um, show you today is how I did that. Now, I just got this set in. It's Quirky Critters. Um, and it's cute too, but I haven't actually used it yet because I just got it. So this weekend I was playing with this other stamp set here in an effort to try to figure out how to color, color my images. Okay, and I wanted to say one more thing also. I'll put a little um, border around my sentiment here, which is these layering framelits. And these are just awesome because they just fit perfectly. You can see, I love it that it's just barely showing that. And it just looks so professional. So this is like um, a one-time investment, you know, it's a lifetime. This is a product that will last you a lifetime. So it's $35, which is expensive, but I think it's well worth it. Um, there's so many of them in here. And so if you wanted more showing, you can um, do that way too. So um, I should be setting up my my store so I can actually link products um, if you are interested in purchasing them but I haven't set that up yet but in the next few days hopefully here's another sentiment I might use for this card I haven't decided if I want to do this one or this one you also have happy birthday and um, sorry I forgot <laughs> Okay, so there's one of the images, and I'm going to use that for the happy birthday one, and it's got a cute little snail, which is funny because there's a, there's a little snail in this one, too. But here is the, the piece that I used here, and um, this is an A2 card, which means it's um, half of a sheet of 8.5 by 11. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is um, eight and a half inches. And you just fold it in half. And this is a little bit smaller. Um, I always just cut it down like um, one eighth of an inch, I think is what I use. One eighth of an inch, or sometimes one quarter, and that will be one eighth of an inch all around. Okay, so we get started on this coloring. I've, like I said, I've only got one brush right now. This is a little tiny makeup brush. You do want it to be a small, find the smallest brush that you can and wet it down a little bit. And I will say that oxide inks work better because they, um, I don't have this on watercolor paper, um, because they stay, they don't dry as fast and so you can shade better. Um, and I had, had to use this one because I don't have the um, Lemon Lime Twist re-inker yet. Um, and I used Real Red, and I used um, Whispered White, and I used Sahara Sand for the um, colors in this. Maybe I'll set that right there. 
This little thing came from Dollar Tree. There was a, several in a package. It's really convenient. Okay. And I actually used a colored pencil first just to give it an outline. I don't really have a nice set so I just found these in my kids stuff but at least I found a green one. <laughs> so like I said I'm using very basic stuff here but I think it turned out great. Things don't always work out on camera. Okay, so this is a little bit wet. This white pigment ink kind of helps to add a little drying time. So, start at the area you want to be darker. have a little towel handy in case you get too much. It's a little bit too wet here. But you want it to be lighter right here, so I'm going to go ahead and clean it off. And get some white only. in, I think, and add some more darkness to this side. Just kind of pushing this color around to get a gradient effect. Okay, so I think that turned out good. Alright, considering, you know, I don't have, I wasn't professionally trained. <laughs> okay, you can do the heart, you know, I just went ahead and did it green. Coloring it until it, you know, it looks like 
until it suits, you know, your taste. <laughs> I think it's okay. Here's the comparison. I got a little powder pink ink right there. Okay, now the mushroom, I use real red. real red. Um, actually, I think I'll go ahead and do the grass first. Um, real red and Sahara sand on that. Make sure you get all the green color out. It's a little difficult because of this brush to get around these circles. A little tiny brush for this.
all up because it wasn't dry. take too long to do so we'll just do it again okay now we're ready for the brown underneath these do take longer to dry since I'm using that um, whisper white pigment ink and a little bit of water camera might shut off. Let me check it here. Okay. Should be able to get this done before it shuts off. Okay. And after you get it all painted, fussy cut the images out. Well, once it's dried, you fussy cut the images out. I didn't color it all in. I tried to create a little shadow effect. Okay, so there you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these out and get my sentiment ready and then I'll, um, I'll be back to assemble the card. Okay, so we're ready to assemble the card now, and um, I didn't do as good a job on uh, blending on this mushroom, um, and uh, plus I got a fingerprint on my frog, but um, we'll go ahead and assemble it, and I'll show you all the little pieces. Okay, so the car here's the card base. Whisper White, um, and it's an A2 size. And then we got this lemon lime twist here, which I cut um, a quarter inch smaller, so it's four inches by five and a quarter, so it'll fit right on there. This um, little image here I stamped in lemon lime twist, and it is this stamp set right here. With, this is retired also. I found this on eBay and was really happy because it was so cheap. Got it in, it was brand new, never even been used. Um, so it's super cute. On this first card I made, I used the hearts. You can see it right there. On this card, I used the arrow one just to give the um, card stock a little bit of detail, a little more interest. This is called chalk lines. And I love the fact that Stampin' Up! Uh, uses these DVD cases that's just, um, you know, it just makes uh, storage so easy and convenient. Okay, so i got to actually open this snail adhesive. I hope it works. I might end up using this glue for the whole thing. Okay, so I don't want to roll. Oh, I apologize. I should have figured that out first. I never used it. <laughs> so we'll just glue it on. It'll work. I 
just takes longer for this to dry. That's why I usually don't glue this piece on. I don't have my other tape. Oh, yeah, I do. I could use this tearing tape. That's what I normally use. But at least you can wiggle it around, get it in the right spot. my sentiment here add it at a bow the reason is I didn't get it centered and so this was the top of the paper and I had to cut it this wide let's see I actually cut a little bit off so that made a little bit of area down here at the bottom it was just blank and I needed to add something so I stamped that chalk lines again okay so we'll put that there and mushroom here these corner embellishments. I'm not sure if I want to add that or not. Let's see what it looks like. I could use one or I could use both. I do think I like how it looks so I'll glue it down. As I experiment, I um, hope I'll get better at blending without having to buy the Copic markers. I just, they're so expensive. Giving this card away. Um, so, if you like it and would like for me to mail it to you, just leave me a comment. And you have to send me a mailing address to my email, and um, I'll send it to you. This little bow here will get smashed down. It was really simple how I made this. You just took a strip of paper and looped it up like that. That was it. <laughs> For this card. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, leave me a comment, um, and thanks for joining me today, and um, have a wonderful day.